Here are some instructions for how to create the visual presentation for your Archives Alive project using iMovie. These instructions are for iMovie 11, so there may be slight differences with older or newer versions. To begin, go to the DIY History website and select the image you would like to use. Right-click this image to save it to your downloads. Next, go to iMovie and drag your downloaded image into the spots provided for photos. You're going to want to copy and paste this image so that you will have more than one section of it. To edit the duration of each clip, hit the blue gear symbol on the bottom left of each still. Select Clip Adjustments. Under Duration, enter the amount of seconds you would like each still to be. It is recommended that they are five or more seconds. Click Apply to all stills to make them all the equal length. If you would like one still to be longer, select the same gear, but on that still, select Clip Adjustments, and edit that one to be longer, say 20 seconds. Deselect Apply to all stills. To add the Kins Burns effect to any still, go to the blue gear and select the bottom option, Cropping, Kin Burns, and Rotation. This will allow you to add the Kin Burns effect, which will allow the, the camera to pan in and out of a select image. This will make it so that you can show your audience a specific section of the photo. Take the, the red box and make it to where you would like the image to end, what you would like to be focused on. Here I will focus on this image of a ship. Take the green box and make it where you would like the camera to begin, where you would like the camera to move from. Click Done. To see what you have done, hover over the beginning of the still and press the spacebar. This will show you that the camera will span from the larger red box in towards the smaller green one. You can apply these to any of the boxes. To do this to the longest, the 20 second section, click the Ken Burns effect again, and make it so that you may want to pan out, say from the ship to the entire image, making the red box the large one and the green one the small. Here's what that would look like. Since this section is longer, the transition will take longer than for the shorter clips. Next, you may want to create audio. Click the microphone icon in the middle of the screen. This is going to say record a voiceover. Select it, click record from built-in microphone or an outside microphone if you have one, and then click on the clip where you would like the recording to be and then you are going to want to begin recording. You will record over the clips that you would like your audio to be. If you are done recording, click the microphone again. Now this voiceover will play above the clip. And then you are going to want to begin recording. You will record over the clips that you would like your audio to be. To move this recording to a different clip, select it and simply move it over. Now it will be in a different spot. Make sure to utilize the Ken Burns effect in a way to allow your audience to pay close attention to certain words, images, or areas of the document that you are using. If you are satisfied with all of the adjustments that you have made, click the Share button at the top. This will give you an option to click on YouTube. Click there and then download it to the account that has been given to you for UIO Rhetoric.